Spring was absolutely savage and in part 1 we experienced a true feeding frenzy on the pulse tails. In part 2 we mix the casting with trolling and we get to face an absolute Swedish giant. Good morning, today I'm out with Job and we are gonna target big pike on a small wood lake. And we're gonna target them with big swim baits, do some casting, mostly do some trolling with the water wolves. It's the first trolling session for us in Sweden during the springtime. And we're gonna try and catch some savage pike, some, some savage lures. We got a bit of a sketchy boat ramp at the moment, but it is a lake that is not being fished by a lot of people. So hopefully the pike feel the same and are really interested in our lures. Looks promising. Uh, the only downside is we have a lot of sun and hardly any wind at the moment, but that's gonna change in the afternoon. So things are looking really good and we're gonna try and get the boat in because it's not the most ideal boat ramp. I mean a lot of Swedish guys are probably used to this stuff, but such Dutchies with nice tarmac and shit, it, the city boys will manage. Yeah, buddy. Nice. That was quick on the 30 centimeter rim colored line for trap. We got it on the water wolf, which always makes it extra extra cool. Dark in golden spots, black eyes. That's what we came for. Perfect condition. Coloration on that one. Dark eyes, beautiful, beautiful pike. Bye bye. So we got the first fish on the board. That happened rather quick, but don't get your hopes up. A lake like this is, generally speaking, kind of tough. Uh, we're trolling with six pair of hands out. We got a mix of baits. We got the 32 centimeter roaches and the 30 centimeter trout. I'm playing around with the depth, especially because I want to hit some shallow structures first on the side of the. Uh, you have those structures close to the shoreline. I got some underwater reefs that are interesting to hit, which are like three and a half, four meters deep. So the maximum that I got running is the base closest to the boat. If it gets too shallow, I can get it out quickly. Uh, that's the 30 centimeter trout. I got it way, way back on the boat. Uh, I think I got like 40 meters behind the boat to get some depth. Uh, we're trolling at like 2.5, 2.8, sometimes three kilometers an hour. First take was on the bait that was running the deepest. Uh, but we still got some 32 centimeter roaches out there. They're all running like two, two and a half tops. Uh, we're just gonna hit these shallow points first. And if we don't get the takes, and we already saw some big signals on the sounder that were standing pelagic on the deeper water. Uh, but I'm talking about like 10, 12 meters deep. If they're not willing to come up, and we switch tactics, and we're gonna use some baits that are running uh, a bit deeper. Maybe add some sinkers to it. Usually I'm not a big fan of that. I'd rather switch to baits like a burbot or a moderate sink 40 centimeter trout, stuff like that to get a bit deeper and fish that six, seven meter zone uh, with a slow presentation. But so far we got the first take on a 30 centimeter trout, which is a good indication and we are close to hitting another hotspot. So hopefully there will be another fish showing from the camera. Yeah, that was the uh, second take, buddy. Uh, yeah.
So, trolling was not what we expected it to be, so we're gonna leave it for a bit. Try and cast on some stones. Yeah, we got some nice structure out here. It goes from uh, roughly like 10 meters and goes up really quick towards two, two and a half. Lots of boulders close to the entry of a bay over here. Then we got a couple of similar spots up ahead. The 25 centimeter pull stone trout has been fairly successful as the past couple of weeks. So that's what we're gonna try on this wood lake as well. See if the fish are interested in either the uh, grim color or the obvious favorite, the lemon. Let's give it a go. That hit was brutal. It's not a really, uh, it's a nice fish, but it felt like a monster. That's a difficult thing to land by the gills if the treble is sticking. That's how ferocious he took the bait. Just got it. Look at the size of the bait and look at the size of the fish. I think this one was keen on snatching a little trout. You can see the marks from spawning, the fins in the back are damaged. But other than that, a super healthy fish. And again, we just got the treble. Just have safety for the fish, but really odd that the uh, rear treble was sticking out of the jaw. Hmm, nice. Smells a bit funky. <laughs> bye bye buddy. The next day we need to drive towards the Netherlands, but not before we fish a couple more hours on the big lake. So we are back at it. We um, slept quite well after the long trolling session yesterday. Must say, we had a lot of fun, but uh, we watched the water war footage. <laughs> it was kind of frustrating. Um, lots of fish either nibbling the baits, um, one actually engulfed it and spit it out, and a surprising amount of fish that attacked the camera. Yeah, I can't. But Sometimes you have some of those days. We're still not gonna attach any trebles on the cameras, guys. So before you go into the comment section, yeah, put some split rings and trebles on it. No, we're not gonna do that. Uh, but we are gonna do some casting. Uh, Job's got the deviator on. Um, my favorite uh, blue shiny, uh, I don't know the color of this one actually, but I need to look it up. Um, and I'm gonna put the uh, lemon slash banana deviator on the uh, end of my line. We'll see if we can find some fish on the shallows. Ooh, that was a cool take. On the Chiquita. On the Chiquita. First of the day. Beautiful little fish. Hopefully one of many today. Oh, she swam back towards the boat. Oh, awesome take. That's the uh, the fun thing about jerkbait fishing. So cool. Sight, the, the visual aspect of the year that it takes. Yo, Jesus, what an arm! Once again, super hard take. Not the biggest of the bunch. I'll take it. <sighs> On the post. Our time is almost up, but we have one final spot in mind. <laughs> Yo. Oh man! 
dude. Look at this. Final day. Oh my God. <laughs> Get her back, buddy. Bye bye. Yeah, I have done you Well, buddy. Congratulations. Thank you very much. <laughs> what a fish. Oh, there's a droplet on the lens. Ah, on the lemon uh, pull sail seemed a bit slow we're like ah oh, you know maybe the fish are like thinking about the Netherlands <laughs> what a way to uh, to close your trip to Sweden whoa yeah we need to head back so thanks for watching guys yeah. see you